Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, we'll be looking at the condors shortly to see if we've got a nice big one for the uh, Malvern show. I've uh, got into one now. I've paid my price and these are the Christmas potatoes and after all that rain, about three inches since the uh, dry spell, it bashed these over and uh, they've uh, come good again. So uh, sharp is express with comfrey, that one. And uh, we did a little experiment, uh, one with uh, hoof and horn and uh, one with uh, blood fish and bone. But uh, Brian did mention that putting all these ingredients in will encourage the potatoes to have all tops and uh, no bottoms. So we will see if that is the case with these. Moving on to some of the other potatoes. So we've got living green uh, seed compost with the rocket. Some living green compost salad and veg. Again with rocket, rocket potatoes. Uh, living green uh, peat free rocket potatoes. And a homemade compost there with uh, rocket potatoes. So we've got four tubs there to uh, have a good look at. A homemade compost with some charlottes, homemade compost with the marfonia and some homemade compost with the pink fir apple. I do like to keep these varieties going whether uh, we are going to use them or not, well we do because we pass them on if we don't but I do like to plant, uh, keep the potatoes uh, like the garlic that people send me I like to keep them uh, going. And over to uh, Steve at Digwell Greenfingers, the uh, single seed uh, potato challenge. Uh, last two tubs there, that lovely big one that I got. I ended up having it as mash and I didn't know. Because that one would have been ideal for the Malvern show, for something to take. But we've still got these two to reveal if need be. Now moving on to the condor potatoes. Uh, we did uh, several lots we we tried uh, cutting them uh, this that and the other we created these tubs which were not very successful very hard to uh, keep watered they sunk down a lot because it's my homemade compost it happens to all sorts of compost and bargum the black fly are attacking a weed oh well done and uh, yeah we've even got tomatoes growing including flowers but they'll have to come out and again we've got some more condors down here and then we had some uh, condors from Frank uh, which I didn't cut up we just planted them straight in and they're still going so it'll be interesting to see what we get from those so we'll make a start on some of the containers and we'll end up emptying these blue barrels to see what we've got hopefully before it gets dark Mrs. K's give me two hours. <laughs> so this is the first tub. I'll uh, do a proper reveal on this one. Are we up and running? Yes, we are, he says. Just in case. Mrs. K wanted some small potatoes. I'm thinking, oh, I hope I don't get small potatoes. <clears throat> but these were the ones that we cut up work well for the single seed potato challenge not very well for these by the look of it we've had a lot of rain recently this is all my homemade compost I'm not going to go out buying uh, as you can see there some uh, cardboard or leaf mould no nothing in that one see some big ones in this one so let's do this one I'll get plenty of compost out of it anyway yeah, gone green but they'll be ideal for seed you have to be careful when we reveal these because they could be joined which is what you want you want them together but it looks like they've not gone down they've come up so they maybe need planting deeper. Let's have a 
plastic label. So that's what we've got from two pots. Everyone's struggling with the uh, condor at the moment, so I'll uh, empty a pot and show you what we've got each time. So this is what we've got from nine containers, I believe. Or something similar. Or is it six? Uh, I've got Frank's now to reveal. Uh, but as you can see, not a lot extra. But we'll uh, do a proper reveal with one of Frank's. So I've pulled all the horns out. I don't cut them off, I pull them. Can't see any point in leaving uh, anything in the ground. Mrs. Kay's going to be pleased anyway with the smaller spuds. Ooh. But they do seem to be growing more to the top. So maybe I oh, plant them deeper or I use one of my blue barrels. Oh God. Some nice seed potatoes in this one that we can save. Notice there's plenty of worms in uh, some of those other bags. Right, pause and record again, guys. A few big ones, nothing to shout about. So I've counted the containers up and I've got nine containers I've emptied for one mushroom tray, built up a little bit. Uh, not very good at all. So it's time to uh, open these blue barrels up and see what we've got. Well, those uh, few potatoes there we're right at the top so maybe that's the uh, secret having these barrels the other way around or I might even plant some now in some pallet collars and give them a good mix do uh, several sewings but I've got uh, 600 litres of this uh, wonderfully wonderful homemade compost it's uh, broken down uh, really well so another barrel full into the bin so last barrel we'll have a little look see if these are the same I think if anything they're going to be worse because they didn't grow uh, as well let's really reveal some lovely compost well we've got four extra potatoes out of that so nothing to shout about, so I'm going to get this emptied. If I don't do it now, it'll never get done. And get uh, this material put in the, uh, in the uh, bin. And it's looking quite ex impressive already. Well, that was a lot of effort. But by gum, I've got myself uh, some uh, lovely seed and some nice uh, eating potatoes, hopefully. And as you can see on the uh, description, uh, in the title we've got a raffle uh, just tell me via the gmail how long my first video runs for in minutes and seconds and we'll do a flutter draw for the uh, three winners of these uh, condor potatoes as you know uh, we can't sell them uh, it's against the law uh, because these condor are special potatoes and they're very rare and we can see why can't we definitely going to grow them differently next year so in the dis in uh, send me a gmail how many minutes and seconds my first video which will be on the end screen runs for
please watch it see what I've been up to and just say Condor minutes and seconds not minutes and seconds but how many minutes and seconds so this is the leaf mold bin this is my homemade compost bin and as you can see now uh, we're nearly full I made about 3,000 litres of my homemade compost using uh, different materials this is the materials that the uh, cannabis growers unscrupulously uh, dump I'm going to top these up from these storage areas this side's got the uh, cocoa koi and this side's got the whatever it is with the uh, perlite in but it's all organic all breaks down as you can see the uh, homemade compost has had all this in and uh, it all breaks down nicely in the end and uh, I'm going to be a busy boy revealing uh, all my giant vegetables which will be uploaded after the show and I'm looking forward to seeing how some of these uh, carrots have done maybe all top and no bottom we won't find out until I start taking them out they just started to die back now as you can see certainly had some uh, lovely uh, fruit still not wanting to drop off they normally fall off when I uh, <laughs> walk into them and uh, the uh, conference pairs some of them have got holes in we'll use the ones that got the holes in first I don't mind if you don't look what you're eating then it ain't gonna hurt you not sure of any of these these varieties but uh, all these trees will be going because I'm looking to fill some pallet collars along here and grow uh, a giant uh, pumpkin uh, from one end uh, to the other it's all right getting a giant pumpkin it's getting it out of here afterwards but I'm gonna have a go and if you haven't seen my uh, bug house wildlife area rebuild why not pop back and have a look at a few of my videos I might end put this one on the end screen have something to smile about yes we're going to have a final look at the uh, these uh, sunflowers because they're beautiful. That one's just going over now. Doesn't like uh, the light, but as you can see, they. Uh, oh, he says, where is it? They open up more one side than the other, but that's one plant, and that's given me so much joy uh, on the allotment and uh, I think I've just seen some long beans but they're not long enough for more than my entry form's already gone in the uh, mice have found the uh, field beans so I've uh, just dragged some mint uh, some wild mint out and put them on there just to see if that will <laughs> stop them but as you can see uh, they're going well and it won't be long before we're planting the shallots and uh, garlic very soon quick videos just to get me through Malvern then I've got to try and get my long roots out I don't think it'll be difficult this year the apria and the walking onions are already in and uh, up and running the late peas well, we get a crop but there you can see, and over there, volunteers everywhere. Might get more now than uh, I did in the summer. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. To half an hour. And we best say the potatoes will have to stay in the UK because they won't travel. I'll get frosted in them aeroplanes. <laughs>